Hey guys, Brick Queen here with the new Bell's Enchanted Castle set. It's set number 41067 and has 374 pieces. The set does cost $50, which is probably a little bit too high, but let's go ahead and review it anyway. But first, let's build it. So here is all of Belle's Enchanted Castle. It's a nice little set. Let's go ahead and start with some of the little brick-built characters like Lumineer here. Um, of course, he is supposed to be a candlestick, if you guys didn't know. Um, and his face is printed, uh, which is almost unusual for this set with as many stickers as there are. Um, but it's just a brick-built little candlestick there. And also we have what is kind of like his girlfriend, um, the broom, Babette, here. And her face is also printed. And then on this side, we also have the clock, Cogsworth. And his body and the face are both stickers. Um, but it's just a little brick-built little clock. And you know, if you want to make him look crazy, you can spin the face around. Uh, but there's Cogsworth. And also over there by where he was, we have the wardrobe, and her face is also a sticker, which you can you know, turn around like that if you want to. Nothing special on the back, but if you open this up, well, if I can, open up these green doors, um, there's a sticker in the back that looks like drawers, and there's also, if I can get a hold of this, there's this tiny little crown piece that just sits inside the wardrobe, which you could actually use on Belle if you wanted to. Um, so that's kind of a, a cool little piece there. And there's also a little cart here that has the cup, Chip, has a little Chip uh, drawn out of it. Both of these are printed. Um, chip and, let me set that down, also Chip's mom, Miss Potts. So that is really cool. I'm really glad that they included so many of the characters in this. Um, and then there's also a little a little table um, with a little cup over here. And then this is actually like a little spinning part. It has what looks to be like a cake and maybe um, peppermint cookie or something. I don't remember what was on the, the table <laughs> or if it's supposed to be something specific. I don't know. But anyway. This is the front of the castle, obviously. We do have the gates here with little pink gems on uh, for their handles, which is kind of odd. Um, but anyway, uh, we do have several stickers on here. There, 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 there. Um, I think there were 17 stickers total in this set, which I think is too many. But that's beside the point. It's still a great set. Uh, so up here... You know, we do have this really nice stained glass looking piece. And like I said, that is a sticker, but it does look really good. Actually, let me move this and you can kind of see it a little bit better. It's a little chandelier hanging behind there. I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at Belle. So here is our mini doll version of Belle, which I think is cool. I love her new hair piece. Um, and I really, really like that new dress piece that they gave her. Um, it's not just straight down. It, uh, it looks a whole lot more like a dress uh, than the one they were using. And the hair piece is perfect for her. 
I absolutely love that. Um, and the hairpiece, of course, you could use on a regular minifigure. The dress, of course, is made specifically for the dolls. Hopefully they'll make a minifigure version. And next to where she was standing, we also have the Enchanted Rose. And it's in this nice sparkly little glass, which I think is cool. Um, this is one that I, I made a custom of when I did my advent calendar, I think last year. Um, and I made it a little bit different, which is fine. Um, I really like the uh, sparkly glass piece to make it look enchanted. Um, and that's what they used to build the rows there. And we'll just go ahead and set that back into place. And around over here, we also have the magic mirror so that she can see where her father is. And that is a sticker piece also. Wish it was printed. Wish a lot of things in this was printed, but that's okay. Um, and this is the chandelier that I was talking about moving uh, when I was showing you the stained glass. Um, it's kind of a cool little piece. It just kind of snaps on right there. And there's also a little bed on this side for her to use. Which, of course, you know, everything... Like, her bedroom and everything was a lot bigger uh, in the movie, which was great. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. Um, down here we have a little spinning section that you can kind of set them on and kind of make them dance, which is cool. Uh, also, we have the stove down here. If I can take this out, I'll show it to you. It's even got a little sticker piece on there for a face. And he's got a little, little chef hat on there. And you can open this up and kind of... Act like you're going to cook something in here if you want to. There's not much space in there, but you could try. Um, maybe you could cook a cupcake or something in there. And here is our beast slash prince, as you can see on the side there. Um, the thing about him is his head looks really way oversized, but that is because the beast head part is kind of made like a mask. It actually just fits down over his head. Um, that way, you know, you can just switch that headpiece out uh, for his hair, and then you have the prints. But um, the body just doesn't really match up with Beast now, does it? And like I was saying, this is where you can kind of set them together and have them dance, which is kind of a cool little feature that they added, kind of a little ballroom there. It's even under the chandelier up here. Um, there's also like a miniature library over here, which I guess this is technically part of the library too, sort of. Well, no, that wasn't in the library. That was kind of in Beast's own little room over here. Uh, but we have this cool little sticker piece with the ripped photo, and you can turn this around, and that's where Beast's regular prints hair piece is there. Um, also, if I can get this out here, we have kind of Beast's little diary in the library. And that is a sticker piece on the front, and then when you open it up, there's another little sticker piece here. Uh, where she can read what Beast has written. So, of course, that's just kind of scribble on there. You can't actually read it. Uh, but that's a nice little feature that they did include the little book there. And I can kind of turn this a little bit. Uh, in the kitchen area over here, there's also another sticker on the wall. Um, kind of more plates and cups and things in there. So, I think this is a really cool set. There's a lot of uh, little features here and there, kind of almost hidden in different places. Um, and like I said, I love that they did include so, so many of the awesome little characters, um, little brick built versions of so many of these. There's even the dresser there. Um, so I think it's an awesome set. Not quite sure if it was worth $50, but for what it is, I would have paid for it regardless. So Anyway, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.